Let me take you on the journey to the most important health topic ever. It's hydration. I will tell you everything you have to know about hydration. We will clear up any myths. I will tell you exactly what is the best way to hydrate your body, the best way to drink water. We have everything here. We have the waters here. We have the teas, the fruits, coffee. We will be talking about every single topic that is important. So stay tuned for the video and don't miss out. The content presented here is all fake news. I won't make a long introduction. We will just dive right into the first topic. The first topic will be just normal water. Yes, normal water is an important topic for hydration and health. But let me tell you this up front. What you should never drink is water out of plastic bottles. We know now for sure that plastic bottles contain shitloads of microplastics and microplastics cause heart attacks, atherosclerosis and so on. Nanoplastics are so tiny that, unlike microplastics, they can pass through intestines and lungs directly into the bloodstream and travel from there to organs including the heart and brain. Plastic bottles always throw them in the trash. You never need plastic. You should always get this sound from your bottles, glass. So that's the first thing. When you're traveling around, get glass bottles. And the cool little hack is whenever you get a glass bottle, no matter where you are, this was like one buck in the Canary Islands where I'm sitting in a little forest right now hiding from society, from the WHO. So this is already from spring water and spring water is what you want. So this is pretty much th the best thing you can give your body. This is pure water with all the electrolytes you need. You don't need to add anything. You can drink this just like that. Usually you notice good water also by the taste. It tastes kind of sweetish. That's the calcium content and also the, the potassium. So that's kind of the first thing you should always be aiming for. If you're at home right now and you're not traveling like me, then I will also make a specific video just for that. But my recommendation would be to get a water filter, just a normal under the sink water filter. You don't need expensive ones. You don't need reverse osmosis, 600, 800 Kangen filters. You don't need these special things. Just get a water filter. And then the most important thing is get yourself some sea salt, can be any regular sea salt. And what you do with the sea salt, you just pour a little pinch on it, on your hand. Just, this is already enough. Like you don't have to, you don't have to see how much salt really it has. It doesn't have to look salty. Just a sprinkle is enough and you sprinkle that in your glass and then your water has all the electrolytes because what happens if you use this filter, the filter filters out also the electrolytes, the potassium, the chloride, the magnesium, everything. So you re-add the sea salt to the electrolytes and the water is perfect. So we had now the glass bottle, perfect water. Alternatively, if you're home and saving money and you don't want to carry the glass bottles, which I completely understand, then you can get a water filter and you add sea salt. So that's the, the first basics. Then what is my recommendation? What is the best way to drink water? How to optimize it? It will always be fruits because fruits, and this is a little secret that you will not find on the internet, at least not on most pages. Fruits contain so-called structured water or H3O2. And structured water in fruits hydrates your cells so much more than any normal tap water, than any water from bottles or anything. Structured water is the magic that athletes use to perform. It's the magic that cures brain fog and it's the best water you can give your body and hydrate your cells. Have you ever noticed this? When you're eating like a really ripe, nice papaya and you're biting into it or you're eating like a watermelon, you can feel your cells kind of absorbing this water and that's because the structured water it gets transported and shuttled we are osmosis so much easier into your cells and that's always the most important thing about water you don't want water you don't want to drink five or eight liters of water that will not hydrate you hydration happens when you have the electrolytes that shuttle the water via a basic biologic process called osmosis which we all learned in fifth grade but never really understood that shuttles the water inside the cells so the next hack and the most important thing we have to talk about need to change my position here is the structured water so try to aim for at least 10, 19, 20 fruits a day. You can eat different kind of fruits. Always eat local. Whenever I am somewhere, I drink local water. I would never drink Evian from France here. I drink water from a local source from the Canary Islands. And I eat fruits like this cherry moria that is grown locally because local water, another cool thing you can note down, local water contains local antigens which heals local diseases. So if there's a local disease in this region here, be it like some kind of mosquito thing, then the local water will help protect my body via the antigen. So that's the next most important thing. What's the takeaway? Eat more fruits. Fruits have the perfect amount of water for you. You can eat watermelons, you can eat cucumbers, you can eat tomatoes, you can eat papaya, cherry moya, you can drink lemons. Lemon water, by the way, 
and I tell this to everybody, if you want to start your day right, the best thing you can do is mix these three things. Mix the structured water from the lemon with the antioxidants, with the polyphenols from the lemon to detoxify your liver. Mix it with the sea salt for all the electrolytes so your body wakes up great and give it the right water. If you start your day with this concoction, I promise you, you will feel thousand bucks and you will not need this anymore. This is coffee. This is the magic juice that everybody drinks. 90% of people are drinking coffee nowadays. It's crazy coffee and I will make a whole video about this one just this is very important information so stay tuned coffee is stress in a cup if you are already a stressed person if you're a person that is anxious that has fatigue if you have any of these things then coffee is shit for you do not touch coffee coffee is healthy yes coffee has antioxidants coffee has polyphenols coffee is a good drink and I myself also enjoy good coffee sometimes but if you're a stressed person the times when I had anxiety the first thing I always do is cut out the coffee because coffee dehydrates you and we're talking about hydration here. So if you're drinking coffee, then you need to consume a lot more water to counteract the caffeine's dehydrating effect. That's a really, really important thing you always have to remember. Now that we talked about the destructive effects of the caffeine on your hydration status, this whole video is about hydration. So coffee is dehydrating. What other things are extremely dehydrating? It's sugar. So if you're eating table sugar, this completely draws and pulls out the water from your body. So if you're consuming anything with sugar, sadly, I don't have anything with me because I don't consume any sugar. Then that draws out the water from your body. So if you're drinking and eating sugar, you need to drink more water, optimally from fruit. Then what also dehydrates you crazy is alcohol. You already know this. You drink a beer and you immediately go piss. So cut out alcohol if you want to optimize your hydration status. Because fun fact, hydration status directly impacts how smart you are, directly impacts your brain fog, your fatigue, all these mental states. Depression can be caused by dehydration. So being dehydrated is really awful for our body. And that's what the marketing companies are telling us, right? Like they are telling us all the time, drink Prime, drink hydration, drink Gatorade, drink all these shit drinks from Coke with sugar. By the way, you should not drink any of these. These are the worst hydration drinks you could ever drink. So before I tell you the best hydration drink that you can drink when you're doing sports on the go besides structured water, I will tell you more dehydrating things. Cigarettes are extremely dehydrating. If you ever smoked a cigarette or if you're smoking weed or something, you will notice how extremely bad this stuff is for your hydration level. So cut that out. So if you're a sportsy person and this is probably the something that I drink every single day. I don't care about the brand. Try to get it organic if possible. Here it says it says bio. Try to get the organic ones, but I drink this every single day. My kids drinks this every day. My wife drinks this every day. My pregnant wife, everybody always drinks this every day in my family because this is extremely hydrating because it, again, it has a lot of electrolytes and you need the electrolytes to go inside the cells. I think you already <sighs> I think there's nothing more hydrating than coconut juice. Try to get not, not get coconut juice that has too many ingredients. Try to not get one with any added sugars. Try to not get one with acidic, with citric acid. These things are awful for your body. Coconut water is perfect the way it is. You can find coconut water anywhere. And I know everybody will call me out now. Oh, Fabian, this has um, plastic. This is uh, filled with plastic. Yes, it has plastic. Everything has plastic. That's why I also detox and get rid of plastic. And this brings me to the next topic and the next cool thing you can use for hydration, which is awesome. And it's hanging here on the little tree. It's teas. Teas are fucking fantastic for hydrating your body. And the cool thing is that all these different teas, they also have a lot of different other effects on your body. I can make a whole video on different teas and the best teas for your body. But if you want to drink something that has some flavor, then get yourself some nice, fresh, organic, powdered herbs, brew them with water, wait a little bit, put some raw honey inside, then you make it sweet, but be careful. The water has to be below 40 degrees, otherwise the raw honey will degrade and then not be beneficial anymore. So always remember, honey only if it's under 40 degrees. So you get these different things. And here we have some star anise. This is the perfect herb if you're farting, if you're bloated all the time. Make yourself a little tea, put some of these in the hot water. You will stop farting, you will stop bloating. It works for my son, that will work for you. Then we have some 
Die Herbas Tienas, das ist Waldrian, das ist Valerian. Valerian ist die best route you can use if you have trouble sleeping. So mix your teas for the purpose. If you have trouble losing fat, you can use Roibosch. If you have trouble um, being awake, you can use some green tea or use some matcha. So different teas with different functions can also enhance your experience. And they are the perfect functional drinks. That's the functional drinks from nature. And now the last thing I will talk about is these little drinks. You probably already see this. This is some real kombucha. You can notice it because there's some kind of undersolved liquid liquid on the bottom and this is probably the only pre-made thing from these pop brands I don't care about the brands that I drink myself because it contains great prebiotics and probiotics this contains ginger and lemon so it's a great great drink on the go you see it bubbling so it still has some live bacteria it's bubbling because the bacteria are producing co2 and then they kind of they expand so they kind of want to escape it, it, it smells kind of acidic but the taste is really pleasurable, especially if you already know some fermented food. This is a great fermented food. You can drink kombucha and be sure that it's not pasteurized. Otherwise, you will destroy the live bacteria that it's not good anymore. And you can also use kefir. There's now these cool water kefir cultures and you can use the water kefir to make your own prebiotic probiotic drinks. You can use water kefir together with watermelon, together with cucumber. You put the kefir bacteria together in a bottle. I will again make another video. Stay, stay tuned, follow the channel and make a video only about this topic. So now we talked about everything that is important for hydration. Let me summarize the main takeaways. And there's a little bee now here. And we will feed the bee with the probiotic kombucha. I hope she doesn't die. I hope she also needs some probiotics like as humans because to be honest, the most important thing you can use for your health is probiotics in a certain way. Never buy the pre-made store ones. Resetting the gut is the secret to health. And this is off topic from the hydration. But if you're having troubles from any diseases, then the first thing I would do is I would do a detox. I would cleanse my liver. I would cleanse my gut. I would cleanse my kidneys. I would cleanse my lymph. And then I would repopulate the gut with good bacteria with a gut reset. That's what I do professionally. I offer people the detox and gut reset masterclass. You can find the link down below. We talked about everything that is important for hydration. I hope you took some notes. I gave you the tip to start your day in the morning with salt plus lemon plus water. I gave you the tip to only drink out of glass bottles because plastic bottles contain microplastics. I told you to avoid coffee because it dehydrates you and there's stress. Only drink it occasionally. The best water will always be structured water from fruits. Any fruits you can eat. Local fruits are better than fruits that are important. And I told you my favorite hydration drink, which is coconut water. Much love, guys. I'm going to be back in my tunnels in the Gran Canary Islands. And I'm wishing you a great time. Stay safe and see you in the next video.